Asia in the 1970s. A major crisis threatens the continent. A virus has begun to spread across rice fields, decimating the main staple of Asian diets. Throughout the continent, only a few varieties of rice are widely planted. These varieties produce high yields, but are not resistant to the disease. And without finding a resistant strain of rice, millions of people face a major food collapse unprecedented in modern history. When it comes to what we eat, we have a lot of choices. At supermarkets, our options seem overwhelming. But these choices hide the truth about our diets. They are not getting more complex. They are getting simpler. Historically, humans have used thousands of different plants for food. But today, over 75% of our diets are made up of only four crops. Corn, soybeans, wheat, and rice. This means we are depleting a genetic toolkit that can be used to reduce risks to our global food supply. During the Asian rice crisis, 6,273 rice varieties were screened for resistance to the virus. Only one was found. The collapse of the staple food system was averted. But as we lose diversity and gain more mouths to feed, can we avoid facing similar crises in the future? Native Seed Search, located in Tucson, Arizona, is devoted to conserving agricultural seeds. They focus on ancient crops and their wild relatives that were traditionally used in the southwestern United States, genetic resources that might otherwise be lost to extinction. What we're really doing in our modern agriculture is building our roof with stones from the foundation. It took the foundation of all this diversity to build our modern agriculture. And now that we have surplus energy, we're focusing it on a handful of genetically modified or hybrid crops. Climates change, um, pests evolve, diseases evolve. Um, and without genetic diversity, crops are unable to um, respond in an evolutionary sense to those changes. The Center for Biodiversity says we've lost 96% of the biodiversity in our agriculture since 1903. That's counting commercial varieties that are available for sale in this country. 96% are gone. That's a huge loss of biodiversity. That represents untold millions of hours of, of, of interaction with a, a, a particular environment somewhere around disease resistance, around pest resistance, around drought tolerance. Native Seed Search prevents the extinction of many agricultural crops by protecting viable seeds in their seed bank. Seed banks store seeds, obviously, but um, more importantly, they store the genetic diversity within those seeds. And without seed banks, those, those crop varieties would be susceptible to extinction. So a seed bank is really sort of a backup system for making sure that that diversity is not lost forever. There are a number of things that we need to do in order to properly run the seed bank. Uh, we need to make sure that the seeds are properly stored. We need to test their viability, which we do through germination tests, where we evaluate what percentage of the seeds are still alive in a given sample. We document the characteristics of the seeds or the plants that grow from them, photograph them, package them for distribution to the public or to researchers, um, and a number of other things. A subset of seeds is planted at the conservation farm. A seed bank is a living collection and the seeds must be continuously grown out to ensure they can produce food. New seeds are harvested from the crops and used to restock the seed bank. The conservation farm also provides the opportunity to show others how to cultivate ancient crops. We're here at the conservation farm. When we originally collected each variety in the collection, we put those seeds into storage and now it's been many years and those seeds are starting to lose viability. So 
periodically we have to grow those out again to obtain fresh viable seeds for storage at the seed bank. As we head towards a future of increasing populations and climate uncertainty, diversity is an important element of a stable food source. But the United Nations predicts that we will need to feed a growing number of people using the same amount of land, with fewer resources than we use today. Can a more diverse agricultural system keep up with the demands for food production? To incorporate agricultural biodiversity into modern life, Native Seed Search is hoping to create new markets for their crops, getting them back into grocery stores and restaurants, and back into our stomachs. If Native Seed Search and other organizations like it have their way, our simplified diets will get a boost of complexity from a locally produced and diverse mix of crops. So you take the biodiversity, 90% is gone. We're down into this pinch. And in a thousand years, when those people look back at us right now in this pinch point, and all that's going on on our planet right now, they'll go, you know, the people that got involved in biodiversity, those people got it. They were the most important people in the history of humanity in some really fundamental ways. Because what they saved at this pitch point is all we have. That's the whole basis of everything we have left.